Hi, I'm Brian Tiefenbacher. I'm a second year student. Uh, Mr. Buffett, it's great to see you again. I was on the trip to Omaha last month. Thank you for hosting us. My question is, how would you recommend an individual investor who follows a Graham and Dodd philosophy to allocate their capital today? Well, if they, it depends whether they're going to be an active investor. Uh, Graham distinguished between the defensive and the enterprising investor. If you're going to spend a lot of time on investment, you know, I just advise looking at as many things as possible and you will find some bargains. And, and, uh, and when you find them, you have to act. Uh, uh, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it, it hasn't changed at all since I was here in 1950-51, uh, 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 and it won't change the rest of my life. So you just you start turning pages. When I got out of school, I turned every page in Moody's, 10,000 some pages, twice, you know, looking for companies. And you have to find them yourself. The world isn't going to tell you about great deals. You, you have to find them yourself, and that takes a fair amount of time. So if you're not going to do that, if you're just going to be a passive investor, then I just advise an index fund bought consistently over a long period of time. The one thing I will tell you is that the worst investment you can have is cash. Everybody's talking about cash being king and all that sort of thing, but I, most of you don't look like you're overburdened with cash anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it... it uh, you know, cash is going to become worth less over time, but good businesses are going to become worth more over time, and you don't want to pay too much for them, so you have to have some discipline about, about what you pay. Uh, but the thing to do is find a good business and stick with it. Does that mean you think that we are through the roughest times? Of, uh, you, you'd always kept a cash hoard around, too. Well, that... we, we always keep enough cash around so I feel very comfortable and don't worry about sleeping at night. But, uh, but it's not because I like cash as an investment. Uh, cash is a bad investment over time. Uh, and, uh, but you always want to have enough so that nobody else can determine your future, uh, essentially. I, the worst, the financial panic is behind us. The economic spillout, which came to some extent from that financial panic, is, is it's, it's still with us. It will end. I don't know whether it will end tomorrow or next week or next month uh, uh, or maybe a year, but it, it won't go on forever. And to sit around and try and pick the bottom, people were trying to do that last March. And, and you know, the bottom hadn't come in unemployment, the bottom hadn't come in business, but the bottom had come in stocks. So don't pass up something that's attractive today because you hope you're going to find something way more attractive tomorrow.